Hi, uh, welcome to Astro Journey UK. In tonight's video, I'm going to be imaging the Lobster Claw Nebula in Narrowband. So uh, keep watching and let's see what we get. So uh, the weather today has been pretty terrible. Uh, it's been raining pretty much all of today. Um, however, I looked at the forecast and it looked like it was actually going to clear up and um, for once the forecast has actually been right. So um, yeah, I decided to uh, get a couple of rigs out tonight. Uh, you can see um, one rig here which is the, um, the, the, the trusty EvoStar 80 ED Pro uh, running on top of the uh, EQ6R Pro mount. And also in the vague background here, you can just about see it. Um, I've got the Star Adventurer with an ASI uh, 533 MC Pro camera on it. So uh, the plan for this evening is, is basically to, with this particular rig, image the um, Lobster Claw Nebula. Um, I'm doing that in narrowband at the moment. I've got some HA data. I'm just gathering some O3 data tonight. And uh, with the, the other rig, um, the plan is to uh, capture the Heart Nebula. Um, the Heart Nebula for me has always been a bit of a um, tricky one to, uh, to image at the end of the day. Um, one, it's pretty damn tricky trying to find it um, in a Bortle Class 6 sky. Uh, not very easy to find when you can't see any stars to star hop. Uh, particularly when you're filming these videos and uh, this light completely destroys your night vision. Um, but uh, yeah, managed to get that um, uh, lined up okay, uh, spent a good half an hour trying to uh, focus everything. Uh, so everything is pretty much manual on this rig, whereas this rig, um, almost everything is automated. So what we're going to be imaging tonight is in the area of Cassiopeia. And the first target is the Heart Nebula. So we're going to be imaging that with the Star Adventure Pro mount. And uh, yeah, just below that you can see the Soul Nebula as well. And then we'll just move over to the next target, which uh, there are a number of other nebula in that region. So you've got the Cave Nebula, the uh, beautiful Bubble Nebula. Um, but what we're going to be focusing on is the Lobster Claw Nebula. So we're currently on this rig, um, taking 300 second exposures, uh, just using the O3 filter at the moment. Uh, basically the, the moon isn't going to be out until um, basically it clouds over, so it uh, should be okay there. But um, yeah, those 300 second exposures, it doesn't really seem like there's an awful lot of oxygen-3 data in there. Um, but again, uh, just hoping that uh, after stacking there's there's actually something that's worthwhile uh, capturing with this particular target. So I've got another rig uh, on the go at the moment which is the uh, Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro. Um, with that rig I'm using the ASI 533MC Pro which is a one shot colour camera and in there I've got a filter drawer which is using the Alextreme filter. Uh, which is a dual narrowband filter of uh, hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 and attached to that is using my uh, Canon 70 to 200 millimeter lens so that's uh, pointed at the heart nebula currently uh, everything's all set up focused it's taken a while to get to uh, pointing exactly where it needed to and getting everything focused but it's all now uh, up and running and um, yeah I've just got to very professionally done. Got the uh, ASI Air Pro set on a bench, um, controlling the, the camera and the cooling and everything. Uh, so that's pretty much it now. Uh, just going to leave that running and uh, hopefully it should get a good shot at the end of this. So we're about halfway through the evening now and uh, just been checking some of the exposures. Um, basically at the moment things don't really seem to be coming through in that much detail. Uh, so the Oxygen 3 data that I'm capturing on this scope um, pretty much doesn't seem to be an awful lot there at all. Uh, and maybe that's uh, something to do with the, um, the target that I'm imaging. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see what happens through stacking. Um, and then on the uh, Star Adventure Pro mount at the back there, um, 
looking at the exposures coming through with the, uh, the heart nebula basically got it down to uh, unity gain on the actual camera itself uh, to try and keep the noise to a minimum and um, yeah you can see sort of the faint heart nebula detail there so i'm hoping through stacking as well that's gonna really come out i uh, did have it at maximum gain sort of whilst um, focusing and things like that and uh, you could really see the heart nebula coming through there but uh, i didn't want to go with maximum gain just purely from a noise perspective so uh, yep just going to keep imaging and um, yeah check in with you later so i've just come in there to uh, warm up it's actually getting quite cold now we're in uh, coming into winter um so this image here you can see the uh, the heart nebula that i'm currently taking images of um, so this is all manually uh, focused, which stars aren't, aren't perfect, but I think they're probably about as good as I can possibly get with a, uh, a camera lens and manual focusing. Um, but yeah, you can see the heart nebula kind of coming through in that single image, so um, I'm quite optimistic there, I think. Um, but what I can also do here is just jump into uh, the other uh, device I'm um, using as well. So if I just uh, click on switch device and you've got the ASI Air Pro and also the ASI Air Plus so I've renamed these wireless networks here. So you click on uh, connect to connect to the plus and um, you can see that guiding is working really really well at the moment. Um, I think it's testament just to the, uh, the EQ6R Pro mount. I think it's doing a really really good job with uh, the relatively light payload that it's got. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed with that. Uh, if we open up uh, one of the images from this particular session on this particular device, uh, just going through image management, open um, auto run light and then the target itself. And uh, you can see with this particular image here, uh, let's wait for it to load. Um, we're in the region of the lobster claw nebula, but I really can't see any, any real uh, nebulosity from a, an O3 data perspective so uh, but yeah it's just quite nice to see what you can do if you've got um, more than a couple of uh, ASI Air devices which um, obviously I'm quite fortunate to have um, just that ability to be able to uh, chop and change between those devices as well.